Hello, welcome to the Bucket of Awesomeness. My name is Phil, of course, and welcome to my Star Wars Celebration Vlogs. Now, I plan on doing one of these per day. I don't know if I'll get them up every day, but what you'll get is a series of today, which is day zero. You'll get tomorrow, which is day one, two, three, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And when I get back, you'll get that ginormous Star Wars Celebration haul. So, look forward to those videos, and I will see you through. Oh, so it's been a long night of queuing. It's now 10, just gone 10 a.m. Uh, I was queuing since 8 o'clock last night, so yeah, over 12 hours and 40 hours worth of queuing. But I'm finally in, and oh my god, this is just one part of it. I mean, I've got the Mark Hamill panel up first, I've got the Rogue One later today. And this is just day one. I mean, just look at this place. Just look at this is one part of the stage. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. So, I mean, at the moment, I'm just looking around some of the cool stuff. I mean, like, for example, you have fantasy flight games here. So, I play the X-Wing here. You see me unbox some of the stuff. And here it is. And this is just so far of it. I mean, oh, there's so much more to check out. I'm going to put all this together. I'm going to let you guys see it. I really hope you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them. But I can't wait for this. This is going to be one of the best experiences of my life. And I'm going to take you with me on this journey. Because some of the stuff here, I mean, just look at it. Got some of the prop building here. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's amazing! Oh, it's like you got some of the artwork. I mean, oh, and then, yeah, okay, okay, there's a massive row one bit over in the corner there, which I will be checking out later on. As I said, first up is Mark Hamill. I've been waiting my life for this. This is going to be amazing. And then later on, Rogue One, where hopefully we'll see the second trailer. So for now, I'm just gonna crack on. You enjoy these videos, I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Hello, so it's now 10.40. I've spent about 40, 50 minutes today. I've been a little early around uh, celebration. Oh my God, I've only seen like the tiniest bit, but a life-size TIE fighter and a giant AT-AT from Rebels, hell yeah. Uh, I've done a little bit of shopping, you'll see that in the whole video. And right now I'm queuing for the Mark Hamill panel, which yeah, doesn't look too bad from that angle. And then you do that, and oh my god, it's rather popular, but luckily, I said I queued up last night and I've got my wristband, so I can't wait for this panel. I've been waiting for this for ages. Um, I've had my ticket actually for a year and three weeks just to get here. It's insane. Thank you, Adele. Um, and I, I just genuinely can't wait to get in. So, yeah, I mean, as I said, last night was insane. Queuing up from uh, 8 p.m. We had Daniel Logan, the young boat prefer bring us pizza. I mean, how awesome was that? It was also St. Dave who bought us pizza. Uh, but yeah, we had, it was like Kathleen Kennedy did it first, and then, you know, St. Dave went off and bought some, and then we had Daniel Logan, like young Boba Fett, bring us pizza. I've got a selfie with him inserting that now. I mean, it's just insane. I've already seen Dean Filoni walk around here, which, if you don't know, he's the creative director um, for Rebels and he used to do Clone Wars. It's insane, it truly is. As I've only seen the smallest part, and I can't wait to bring you the rest. So, I'm going to head into the, I'm going to have a drink, and I'm going to head into the Mark Hamill panel, and I will keep you updated from there. Goodbye. Okay, so I've just come out of the uh, Mark Hamill panel, and it was insane. I mean, you can watch it on the YouTube, on the um, Star Wars channel, they've got uh, a live stream of this event. They've also will put up the panel separately, so if you want to go back and watch them, you can, but oh, it was beautiful. See Mark, I mean, I'm not a DC fan. As you ask any of my friends, they all know this, I'm not a DC fan, but to see Mark Hamill doing the Joker live was pretty damn cool. Um, and just to hear him go on about Star Wars, to hear him answer some of the questions and things, just really cool and that was it that's the first panel next up is Rogue One at the moment I'm queuing up uh, to grab something you will see on the channel so that's why I keep my bags done because I keep having to move forward now I've uh, I will do another little video today to say what I'm doing but uh, the plan is as you can see by this video is to kind of meld all of you know day one into a video or day two into a video or day three into a video so they're all got their own videos but they won't be up uh, each day, but I'll do a little video each day just to kind of explain what I'm doing. So, for example, this will be all part of a massive day one video, yet I will do a separate video at some point just to explain what day one was. Uh, I'm loving it so far. I've done a little bit of shopping, I'm doing, about to do a bit more shopping, and then go and queue for Rogue One, and then afterwards more exploring because oh my god, there's so much to see, and I'm barely scratching the surface. This is day one. Like I've got two days left. Tomorrow, I probably won't go to me. I might just go to one panel. I might just go to the uh, Rebels Season 3 panel because they've got two episodes of Season 3 showing. I can't wait for that. The rest of that day, I'll spend doing what I want. And then I'll queue overnight 
to get the future filmmakers panel where hopefully we'll see some of episode 8 and hopefully see the title. So for now, I'm just going to sign off and you'll see me next time. Well, next by the video. <laughs> Goodbye. So I've managed to corner Ray from The Force Awakens. Anything you want to say, Ray? No? Fair enough. Uh, she's a little square, I guess. So hello and welcome to the Rogue One queue. I've been here for over an hour now and that's the size of the queue. It's a little bit massive. Uh, we've got about 45 minutes before they let us in and I cannot wait. I'm really hoping we get to see the next trailer. Uh, we've got surprise guests so hopefully, I don't know, I just don't know who we're going to see. Gareth Edwards I know is going to be in there. I know that Kathleen Kennedy will be in there. I just can't wait to see what we get. I'm, you know, I'm relatively near the front. Uh, see, it's not too bad, um, but the further you get back, I mean, there's 4,000 people that they have to squeeze in there. It's capacity 4,000 people, uh, hence why I had to queue early. I mean, see one thing, tomorrow I'm only going to see the uh, Season 3 of Rebels panel, so I'm not too fussed about going to too many tomorrow, so I actually just want to go to the one, so I'm going to take my time, go around, look at the life-size TIE fighter, yes, that's a life-size TIE fighter, uh, look at all the Rogue One stuff they've got here, look at the art exhibitions and all the rest of it. So, yeah. Until then, I'm going to have to sign off, and uh, after this panel, I will then update you and go, oh my god, it was awesome, or ooh, no, probably my first thing is awesome. Okay, let's, uh, let's see how this panel goes. Woo! So you may have noticed that I'm not at Celebration anymore. Well, annoyingly, my phone kind of died as I was in the Rogue One panel, but oh my god, that was insane. Watch the live stream of it. They had a clip from Rogue One. They had um, some behind the scenes footage as well, mixed with some new footage and all the rest of it. They had Gwendolyn and Christie with the cast and all the rest of it. And then when they kind of turned off the live stream, they showed us an exclusive trailer. It was awesome. They showed us the second trailer with, yeah, yeah. Just, just wait for it until it comes out. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but oh my God, it was awesome. Um, yeah, so that was day, day one in a nutshell. Day one was pretty damn awesome. I ended up, and so in the morning, I ended up getting, you know, I was really tired, but I ended up going to um, the Mark Hamill panel first thing after getting my wristbands and stuff. Went to the Rogue One in the afternoon, managed to do a bit of shopping. Tomorrow, so day two, I'm going to go to the uh, Rebels season three panel. They're going to show a couple episodes there, and the rest of it, I'm going to look around the Rogue One exhibit. So you'll see that tomorrow. Um, I've done a couple of cool things. Went to the Lego uh, shop today. That was kind of cool. See what they've got going on. Magic for a little free thing. You Again, you'll see that. Uh, on Monday. Uh, yes, yeah. so day one was pretty awesome. I'm pretty shattered. Um, day two, looking forward to. Day two is going to be nice to chill. I'm going to go around um, the Rogue One exhibit. I'm going to go around and look at like the life size TIE fighter, the giant ATAT, all that kind of stuff. I'm really looking forward to doing that. So that will be day two. So day three, that's going to be the future filmmakers panel. I cannot wait for that. So tomorrow night I will be queuing up, so you will get a video from the queue. So yes, this is uh, yeah, this is the middle, well, the first third over with for this awesome video that I'm going to put together. Um, yes, so look forward to day two when I look even more tired. <sighs> okay, good morning YouTube. It is just gone half six in the morning. I've been here for about 10, 20 minutes now. I've just gone through all the security hassle and gone through pick up my wristbands for the day. Today is the, I've got for the series three Rebels premiere with uh, the first two episodes of season three and I've got Anthony Daniels just before that without protocol because well it's C3PO, how can I have I'm not going to see three, C3, C3, yeah, go and see C3PO. You try saying that at 25, 6 in the morning when you've had a grand total of about three, four hours sleep in like three days. It, it's insane but it's totally worth it because well the queues today weren't as bad. I mean I I didn't want to queue overnight last night. I thought I could get what I wanted this morning, and I was right about that. So, like tonight, I'm staying overnight because I want to make sure I get my place for the future filmmakers panel tomorrow. Because, just put it in perspective, last night we had the Rogue One screening. Now, that was cool in a sense because we had the panel, so you had Gwendolyn Christie come out, and you had all the cast and the crew, as I said. And then on top of like the clip, they stopped the stream and showed us an exclusive, like second trailer, and it was. Phenomenal, and from what I've heard for tomorrow, we could be getting some Series 8 footage along with the title, so I cannot wait for that. So I'm queuing overnight for that for sure. Today's shopping, might go and buy myself a lightsaber, might go and get my uh, A New Hope signed by Mark Hamill, not quite sure yet, might get a photo, but I might do that tomorrow, I haven't quite decided yet, depends how I feel. And I just managed to spend not a huge amount, yes, I've got a lot, 
but I managed to not spend too much. It was quite good. So today is just going to be more about relaxing, chilling. My panel, my first panel, the Anthony Daniels one, isn't until three o'clock. So I'm going to go and spend my time going around the Rogue One exhibit that I didn't get a chance to yesterday. Uh, go and check all that out. Go and check out the Life Size Tie Fighter. Go to check out the Star Wars live a show live set. Go and check out all that shit. So that's today's mission. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and. Uh, yeah, bring on day two of Star Wars Celebration. May the force be with you. Kylo Ren? They should call you Kylego Ren. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Not even a chuckle? No? Oh, okay. Okay, so I've just been around the uh, Rogue One exhibit here, and oh my god, I'm gonna put in uh, some footage now of what I've just seen, but it's so freaking cool. So, to take you through it, first up, uh, in the corner, you start off with the Death Troopers and Director Krennic. Now, Director Krennic, when we had the Rogue One panel yesterday, he actually came in in costume. I the name of the actor escapes me at this moment in time. I'll put it down below just because, well, I am shattered. And I've still got <laughs> today and tomorrow to go. This is not going to go well for me, I can see already. But basically, yes, Director Krennic is up first. And then you have the Death Creatures. Creatures of the Force Awakens. There is nothing like Yes, I know. I'm, I'm missing this one, unfortunately. Yes, yes, we do. Yes, 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 it's gone. Yeah. Anyways, yes, as I was saying, up first, direct to Krennic. And then from there, you go to Death Troopers before you get to the Death Star. And yes, I said the Death Star, because there is actually a model of the Death Star which they use for filming. Uh, instead of you know, just doing it CG, they use the model for filming again, which, you know, is incredible, because it's one of the things that we missed. Uh, when they, yeah, Lucas did the prequels, was actually uh, having models and things. So from there, you go onto that, which is all of the character costumes, and it is incredible. Like you've got Jin Erso, you've got everyone else down there. Uh, again, names escaping me at the moment because I'm just so tired. But yeah, so from there you go round, and then you have the shore troopers, and the shore troopers and the storm troopers, as you can see in the background, are really cool. The shore troopers. No one really likes the name, but I don't mind it. But the actual costumes fuck, they're so cool they are so so cool and then you've actually got a model of the ATACT the uh, all-terrain armored cargo transport and you've got a model of the new TIE striker and that looks really cool I mean fantasy flight games got contacted by Lucasfilm to make that so whereas in the past uh, fantasy flight games have taken Lucasfilm property and made it into you know the miniatures game this time around, it's Lucasfilm going to them and saying, can you design us a ship? It was so cool. So yeah, the Rogue One exhibit here. For Star Wars fans, for novels, I see what they used on set. It's just a dream come true. So from here on in, I'll go do a bit more shopping. I might go to ILM X Lab uh, probably tomorrow, actually, because it's, it's, it's quite a queue for that. I don't know if I'll be able to get in today. Uh, I'm going to go around, do a bit more shopping, and go in. I've, later on today, I've got the Anthony Daniels um, without protocol uh, panel and then I've got the Star Wars Rebels panel as well so it should be a fun packed day yeah this is some of the uh, oddness you find here at Star Wars Celebration a giant conga line appearing randomly because the hype host thinks it's cool but it's actually rather hilarious you have people showing around shouting Chewie and then Kylo Ren and then randomly. It's kind of fun. <laughs> so in the uh, auditorium waiting, uh, celebration stage, waiting for the C-3PO panel. It's the Anthony Daniels one. Without protocol. It's a little bit mental here, but this should be fun. Hello, I'm going to keep this brief because my voice is going and I just tried to record it and didn't realise I had it on the wrong setting. So, yeah, just come out of the Auntie Daniels panel where he answered one of my questions, uh, which was pretty insane. It was a funny ass panel anyway, but I asked him uh, if he had someone to buffer him on set, so to clean himself off, polish it. And he uh, kind of told us the story about in episode 4 when he has the, the bath, oh, thank the maker and all the rest of it, how, of course, Mark gives him a 
fun, I'll clean myself up with like a proper towel. And how, if, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that, but go back and watch that scene because it's a lot more funny than that. <laughs> but now I'm in the Rebels panel, so I'm gonna look forward to that. So, so I'll try to keep it brief because my voice is going. Tonight I'll, yeah, after this panel, I'll record another bit for it, and tonight I'll give, like, have the full roundup of the day. We're talking about, yeah, the Rogue One bit this morning and everything else. So until then, ugh, my voice is going, but this is so much fun. Okay, quick roundup of Star Wars Rebels panel because I am no longer at the panel. I'm in the hall queuing up. I uh, have been for quite a while now, but I've had to film the day's roundup and I've had to do a couple other things, charge my phone, it's what I'm doing at the moment. But, oh my god. Basically, the Rebels panel was ridiculous. So, trailer for Series 3. Wait until he's a tie pilot. <sighs> Grand Admiral Thorne who if you don't know is an, uh, an EU character, I don't really know much about the character, but I know who's a fan favourite, so he could be in it, which is pretty cool. Everyone went nuts when he was released. Uh, no, sorry. And then we get two full episodes put into one. <coughs> that was absolutely insane. I have no idea how all these vlogs are going to come together in one final video, but where well, it's all together. I'm really looking forward to what it's going to be like. And just looking back on these few days so far has been amazing tomorrow oh tomorrow's gonna be insane I plan to get my autograph and photo with Mark Hamill I mean that for me is insane and I plan on um, going to the uh, Star Wars future filmmakers panel and that should be absolutely incredible but yeah I shall update you first thing in the morning because it's now like 10 to midnight and I need some sleep because like you see I am dead oh all right morning it is what 8 15 now in the morning. I've been in the queue for 13 hours. <laughs> I got here at 7 o'clock last night. Um, yeah, all so I can get that wristband. So I can go to the closing ceremony and the future filmmakers panel, which I cannot wait for. It should be pretty fun. Hopefully we'll get the title for episode 8, maybe a bit of footage, maybe... I don't know. I don't know what we'll see. But I'm looking forward to whatever it is. Um, also, I'm going to get Mark Hamill's autograph, but again, need to be yeah, here early for that. Um, all that together means I am very, very tired. I managed to sleep four hours though, like surprisingly. I managed to get four hours of sleeping back. But yeah, so it's nearly, yeah, it's getting towards half eight. I've still got another hour and a half to go this bloody queue <laughs> before I even get in. Oh, that'll be fun. I'll update you later on this, but right now, no, I'm tired. By the way, for those of you who wonder what it's like to be at the front of a queue for one of these things, well, this, this is the start. That's the queue. Ah! Right, so in line for the future filmmakers panel. It should be pretty mental. Um, I'm not sure what to expect, as I said before, it's going to be hopefully the title for episode 8, hopefully the trailer. Wow. Small teaser. Um, I, have, I have no idea what else. I have literally no idea I can't find out. Uh, yeah, this morning, got Mark Hamill's autograph. Um, this is a picture here. Internally freak out now. I mean, I'm not about to scream and shout, yeah, but all oh, exciting. Um, tonight, I'll give you the final roundup, and uh, then tomorrow, I'm going to like summarize it all, give you a nice big video, all packaging one with all this stuff. But, Oh man, I cannot wait to get to this future one. It's gonna be amazing. Thank you for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, click the video on the screen now, or head over to our channel and check out our other videos and playlists. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. Until next time, goodbye!